Hello, thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. And today we're look like, looking at linear inequalities systems graphically. What we're going to do is take a pair of linear inequalities, we're going to graph them and look at the shared solutions between the two. So let's take a look. So here's our first example here. It says solve the following systems of inequalities graphically on the set of axes below state the coordinates of a point in the solution set so what they mean by that is there's multiple solutions for this system of inequalities and they just want you to pick out one of them and I'm going to show you how to do that but first we're going to start with some of the things we probably already know we're just going to graph the inequality okay so I'm going to start with this first one here and it has a y-intercept of 4 let's do this I'm going to zoom in alright and it has a y-intercept of 4 and a slope of negative 1 and we're going to make it a fraction by putting it over 1 okay so we're going to begin at 4 and go down and over 1, down and over 1, rise over run. And you can make multiple dots so you can graph it. But on delta math, you just make two dots and it'll put it there for you. Now, the next thing you want to do is draw your line. So remember that if it's equal to, you want to have a solid line. So we're going to draft uh, draw a solid line okay now since it's less than you're going to shade below okay but before uh, we shade below um, I am going to graph the other line Alright, so let's do that one first. And then I'm going to show you why in just a second. So we start here, we have to B, the Y intercept is negative 8. And the slope here is positive 3 over 1. So I'm going to go up or down to negative 8. And I'm going to go up 3 and over 1. up 3 and over 1 okay now this one is a equal to 2 so it has a solid line one here and the reason I did one at a time is that way you can see where to graph the other one so the first one here is we're going to shade below because it's less than so we shade down this way okay now the blue one here is shade above it's greater than so you shade this way oh, let me change my color Okay, so now we have them both graphed. Now, the, the one that is the solution for any uh, for both of them is the part that's inside here. So that part is the solution. Any point that you pick inside the solution can be your answer. So. Uh, you can pick any point here. So I'm just going to pick, um, let's see, negative 3, 0. So negative 3, 0 
would work as one of the points. And I picked this point right here. But you could pick any point within the part where it overlaps, and that's the solution to your systems of inequalities. So, take a look at this one and see if you can graph it on your own. All right, this should be what you get here. Um, now, whatever solution you pick, um, has to be up in this area so it's multiple answers that will work and on delta math you can put any one of those answers in there now i would remind you that the dash line here um, you can't pick anything on that line because it wouldn't be included the dash would not be included a solid line you could but not the dash so be aware of that so let me walk walk through what i did here okay um so First, I got my slope and y-intercept for the first one, and went ahead and graphed it. And since it is uh, equal to, I drew a solid line and went above, greater than, because it's greater than. And then here, I got my slope and y-intercept and graphed this line, and because it's not equal to, I use a dash. Okay? And then, I shade it in where it overlaps here. And I can pick any solution here. Let's say I pick... 10, this 10 here, that'll be x is 0, and y is 10. So any solution would work there, that's in that yellow region. Okay, and that's it. That is the linear inequality systems graphically. I want to thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. Have a nice day.